Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for copywriting. In fact, you're going to be able to use one of my favorite headline formulas. Let's get right on into it. So how to X without Y, or as Frank Hurd would once say, I think he says how to yay without boo. So when explaining this, this is pretty much saying how can someone achieve the benefit they want without doing something that they don't want to. So how to lose weight without uh, counting calories, how to lose weight without doing cardio, how to build an online business without, you know, doing live presentations, something like that. I think you get the idea. You can use this for any copywriting headline and it's very flexible. Okay. You see these a lot. You know, if you, if you keep this in mind and you start looking through sales letters, you're going to see a lot of this come up. Okay. So I put, write me a few headlines about building an online business and replace X with something beneficial and replace Y with something that the audience doesn't want to do. And I put, here's an example, how to start an online business without losing your shirt. Okay. A lot of people want to start an online business. They don't want to go bankrupt doing it. Okay. Obviously that's something they don't want to do. So with all this information, let's hit enter and see what Chad GPT gives us. All right, perfect. So we can build an online business without quitting your day job. You can create an e-commerce store without spending a fortune. You can generate passive income without investing a lot of money. You can launch a successful online business without any prior experience. You can attract customers uh, to your online business without relying on paid advertising. You can grow it without sacrificing your personal life, uh, without breaking the bank. You can monetize without compromising your integrity. That's a good one. How to build an online business without compromising your values. And of course, how to start it without getting overwhelmed by the competition. So great. What I want to do, I'm just going to copy this again, and I'm going to change around the specific benefit. I just put building an online business. So this is what's going to be different. Give me a second and I will uh, dive deeper. Okay. So once again, I put write a few headlines about running successful Google ad campaigns and replace, you know, same thing as always. So let's click on enter here. All right, so I'm going to read through as they are loading. So how to increase conversions on your Google ad campaigns without increasing your budget, how to optimize your Google ad campaigns without sacrificing ROI. You can improve your click through rate without changing your target or changing your targeting. Okay. How to increase your Google ad campaigns visibility without compromising your quality score, uh, scale your ad campaigns without increasing your cost per acquisition, increase your ROI without sacrificing reach, reduce your bounce rate without lowering your bids, increase your ad campaigns engagement without changing your ad copy, how to improve your Google ads target targeting without increasing your spend and increase your Google ad campaigns ROAs without increasing your ad spend. So these are really good specifically for the fact that if you're using one of these, you know your audience perfectly. Okay. Let's look at something like, or well, let's go to like number nine. I think this is a good example. How to improve your Google ads targeting without increasing your spend. So someone who isn't using Google ads, like why do they care about targeting? They haven't even figured out how to use it. Right. But if you're going to use a headline like this, clearly it's going to be very targeted. You know, you're probably not going to get a ton of traffic compared to doing like how to get started with Google ads, but it's going to be so specific that your opt-ins are probably going to be very high if your targeting is obviously correct. So this was a very good example of this. I'm going to do one more just because this is really fun and it's pretty much the same thing over and over. Obviously, you know how it's done, but let me copy this and let's do one more. So the benefit here is going to be growing to 100,000 followers on Instagram. Oh, we have too many requests. I think that's going to be time to say that uh, we're going to have to cut it off there. So I'm glad I at least got two in. You know, the third one is pretty much just going to be a repetition of that. So I guess it's a good thing overall. That is going to be a very big benefit when they do have the premium version. Is that something like this or if you have too many requests or it's going too slow? But all in all, this was something I, I kind of figured out on my own. I was like, what if I put in one of my favorite formulas here? let it know how it works and then fill out the rest. Like I said, this is my absolute favorite marketing headline ever. How to X without Z. What do they want and what do they don't want to do? As long as you figure these two out, you're going to be doing very well. You can use this in emails. You can use this on websites. You can use it on thank you pages. You can use it where <laughs> thank you pages, maybe, I guess. <laughs> you can use it pretty much anywhere you want. So if you need a great copy copywriting formula or headline, this is it. And this is going to be the prompt where it says, write me a few headlines about 
you're going to want to enter in what it is you're looking to do. Then I put and replace X with something beneficial and replace Y with something that the audience doesn't want to do. Hope you got some value out of this. Not only can it show you how chat GPT can work for copywriting, but you now have a great formula that you can use for a lot of your headlines and pretty much every square inch of the internet for your marketing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said, it's too bad it got cut off, but it is what it is. I think you got the value out of this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.